What's going on everybody? Danger Rock here. Today we're going to be looking at the Mayfax Black Costume Spider-Man comic version. I just got this figure and he looks absolutely fantastic. This is actually my first Mayfax figure that I've ever gotten. And before we take a look at the figure itself, let's take a look at his packaging. Really nice um, comic book logo right here. Right in the top right corner, we can see a really nice um, picture of Spider-Man with a number here that says number 147, six inches. Because um, this is the um, CT version. I think that means this is just a comic book version, but I like the way the packaging is very reminiscent of a comic book. We can see the figure right there in the plastic bubble. Here's a look at um, the packaging from the spine. Here's a look at the packaging from the back. As you can see, we can see multiple shots of him. Here we got his Peter Parker head. Here we have um, squinting eyes. Here we have his eyes open. And here he is in a cool pose. So that's really cool. And there's nothing really much more at the bottom. On this side right here, uh, we just get another picture of the figure with number 147. Nice spider logo right there. So let's get to it and open this guy up. So that's really cool. I, I didn't even notice that this guy right here comes with his very own stand, which is awesome. I never knew it came with that. Um, taking a look at it himself, he comes with quite a number of accessories, as you can see here. He comes with like one, two, three, four, five, six different web lines. What appears to be a web backpack. We have an unmasked head and a masked head. We've got lots of pairs of hands. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five sets of hands. We got Open hands, fisted hands, grabbing hands, wall crawling hands, and thwipping hands. And he also comes with um, extra feet, which are magnets. How about that? I never knew that. So this looks really cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our black costume Spider-Man and get him out of that bubble. And now that I'm taking a look at the figure, he's absolutely awesome. This is great. So not only do we get multi-joint poses, but we get a vast number of accessories. So that's really cool. One thing that I really like about it is that if we look at all the white coloring on this guy, they even included um, the white on his hands right here, which is really cool. And my favorite part about this is I absolutely love um, this spider symbol on his chest. I think it's very um, reminiscent of the comics. And I really love his ab crunch articulation right here. We could get him into all kinds of spidery poses. His joints are not stiff whatsoever. So... This actually might take it away as my new favorite black costume Spider-Man figure. I never knew how awesome these guys are. Now, um, Mayfax is pretty um, an expensive brand. So when I looked at this guy, he kind of reminded me of the Marvel Legends version with all his extra heads and accessories. Um, but this guy right here is absolutely incredible. So if we take a look at the articulation on this guy, we can rotate his head a full 360 and you could point his head all the way that far down or all the way that far up because he has a hinge here, which he has head pivoting, you could tilt it in either direction. I love that he has butterfly joints so we could get him in some good wall crawling poses. His arms can move that far and they can actually move pretty far back actually. So that's really cool. Um, his... Um, elbows bend, and he does have ball-jointed hands, so that's awesome as well. 
Um, he's got an ab crunch this far. He has a waist crunch that could go that far back or that far forward. It can rotate. And his um, chest joint could go that far, so that's really cool. His legs kick outward that far, and they can kick pretty far back, actually. Um, his knees do bend all the way. He has ankle pivoting, and he has toe joints, which is really awesome, actually. You can even move his toes. So that's really cool. So what I want to do now is um, let's take a look at this awesome um, collector stand that he comes with and see how this um, pours together. So it seems that we just plug this in here. And here's um, how you, the thing that you could grip him with. So it looks like it just slides on. Now let's see how does this go. Um, I'm actually not that sure. Uh, it just came apart. This is a really, um, poor stand. Look at that. The plastic on, um, the stand that would actually hold the figure comes apart pretty easily. So, that's strange, because this is where you would usually move to get them in all kinds of poses. But, regardless, though... We could still put them on the stand. That's interesting because I wasn't really applying any pressure to it um, whatsoever. I mean, I have other stands that I can put him on. I'm just surprised that this would come apart so easily. So let's not worry about that now. But um, the figure itself is great. Let's actually take a look at some of his accessories. Here's his web backpack that you could just put right on his back. So that's really cool. You could have him wearing it like that. That's, that's awesome. And one thing I really want to see here is this extra head he comes with. I just absolutely love the eyes on it. So... Let's um, pop this one off and put that head on and see how it looks. And that looks really good, actually. I actually like the other head better because his eyes look a lot bigger, but this one... It's not bad at all, not at all. And I just noticed something, the feet that he has right now are not magnetic, but those feet over there are. So it's really interesting. Now, let's try to put on our um, Peter Parker head and see how he looks. Let's see if we can look at the um, picture on the back here. Yeah. If 
So it seems like the Peter Parker head doesn't hold as well. Oh, there it goes. So I'm just going to put his um, um, head that he comes with in the packaging back on him because I think that that's the better head. There you go, it just snaps right in place. Um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set aside all of his um, accessories. And what we could do is we could stand them up just like this. Actually, let's put them on the stand. There we go. Now for a comparison, I'm bringing in the uh, Marvel Legends Tobey Maguire Spider-Man from the No Way Home Wave so we can put these two guys right next to each other. And they actually scale pretty well. Now let's take this guy off his stand. They're both um, six inches tall. So that's really cool. See if we could get this guy to. It might just be the table I have him standing on, but he does stand a lot better on hard surfaces. Um, like his um, collector stand right here. Cause see when I put him on um, his collector stand, he stands on it right well. There we go. So no, he is not leaning on this piece right here. He's actually standing all on his own. Um, yeah, these two scare very um, well um, together. I obviously have to say I like this black costume Spider-Man a lot more just because I like the build of him. It isn't just all the accessories that he comes with, but that white and black paint just really stands out to me. So I couldn't recommend this guy enough. He's probably my new favorite black costume Spider-Man figure. This, like I said, this is um, the first ever Mafex figure that I've ever bought ever. And I would still totally recommend it. However, these Mafex figures are really expensive. Um, the one thing I don't recommend is those stands they come with because they're flimsy plastic and they break pretty easily. So I'm not sure if that was just a defect with mine or they all come that way because I don't have another one to compare it to. Um, but this guy here is going to be um, displayed on a shelf with my spider army. So he's going to fit right in nicely. And it, it it's nice to have more articulation and more uh, ways of movement. So this guy definitely wins for me. He is an absolutely phenomenal figure. Uh, so yeah, this has been my review of the Mafex um, Black Costume Spider-Man. If you like this video, please leave a like. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once we reach a thousand subscribers on this channel, I will show off my full Spider-Man collection. So definitely stay tuned for that. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of this figure? Would you definitely recommend him? Um, and thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on the next video review.